What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're here in Sea of Solitude on Chapter 11, called Isolation. Um, I think it's just a good time just to pick right back up. So we just lost Jack, and he told us that he was going to work on himself alone. And it's, uh... It's thrown Kay into a depression of her own. Except me. I'm stuck. There's some, uh, there's some... Here in the dark. There's some symbolism here. Okay. I'm still with you. How so nice. I was just thinking about you. Maybe you should eat me. Then everyone would be happy. So Kay's uh, backpack exploded on her, and um, now, so every time we saw Glowy and stuff, like, getting taken by the corruption, like, they had, like, uh, what are those things called? They're, like, little black corruption balls that, like, circle around them. Now Kay has it as well, around her, herself, so it's probably a representation of that. Uh, I really don't want to get eaten. I'd rather just kind of swim over to the buoy. Alright, let's move over to the pool. What the hell? Come on. Okay, I got on the booby. Chapter 11 isolation. So, I mean, this is a feeling that you feel, I guess. Something's coming to our rescue, oh. hopefully. Water's rising. Are you still with me, monster? I will always be by your side, okay? Maybe we really do deserve each other. Does the re my monster represent her depression? Or her uh, suicidal tendencies, maybe? So or heavy. destructive tendencies? It's like I'm stuck to the ground. I need help. I really don't think it's a... Uh, suicidal. Uh, I think it's just destructive tendencies, maybe. Are you here? Maybe? I'm so glad to see you. Really? Are you sure? I was so awful to you. I wasn't myself. It's fine. We all have bad days like that. Even me. Well, it was a bit more than just a bad day. Yeah, it's a very bad day. It's Everybody okay. We're together again. That means something, doesn't it? You're right! I was and always will be by your side, Kay. I promise. I know. From now on, we can do this together. Okay, but how? We just have to share the burden. It will make you feel lighter, I promise. Oh, okay. I feel lighter already. Ah! The monster's chasing me now. We can use these to distract her. Then it comes okay. back to me. Interesting. So... Send those things to me. I can distract her. I thought the little girl represented Kay, but does it represent another person, maybe? I don't know. I still think it represents Kay. Maybe just her positive attitude. Ooh, I almost got eaten. Gotta get back to the buoy. Alright, let's send it back to her. Jump in the water. Jump across. Okay. Are you coming with me? I'm right behind you. So is this supposed to represent like working on yourself? I think it might represent that. Like being happy with yourself and like using like things that make you happy to like fight the burden. Even if one of them is trying to eat me. And so, like, all of these monsters, like, Kay's light side, representing the girl, herself here, like, dealing with the burden, and then the monster there with her destructive tendencies, and then this one, with her shell. You made it! I'm happy you are here, too. I... I wanted to tell you, I'm so, so sorry. What? Why? I hurt you when I should have listened to you. No, Kay. You did the right thing. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Follow me. Maybe she means like opening yourself okay. for vulnerabilities makes you a better person. 
being open with others and loving like indiscriminately is a good thing. Like within itself, it's a good quality to have, but it like, makes it so that you potentially can be more vulnerable and get hurt. Do you trust me now? Of course. The experience with Jake was painful, but it was important. You needed to learn. Learn? It almost destroyed me. I'm all alone now. Are you? Do you feel lonely? I don't know how to feel anymore. And so this is Kay, like, introspectively, like, reflecting on, like, the experience and, like, basically telling herself, like, oh, hang on, let's go this way. Ooh, excuse me. Like, coming to terms with what happened and, like, looking at the brighter side, maybe? And, like, like even the toxic side... You will never be here. If what? What do you mean? Hey, be patient, please. <laughs> have to continue with this. Oh, I'm trying. Okay, one other thing. Uh, symbol. Um, we're coming down and we're climbing upwards. It's ascension, and then also like we're moving towards like these rays of light. So like you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. The, the. The storm is passing, things like that, right? And so this is supposed to be representative of that. And look, uh, another like symbol of light out in the distance. And every time we move towards our other self, like there's light behind her, and she's we leading are us. Almost there. Like beckoning us. It's very good symbolism. And, and it's expressing like how like even though like in dark times you can find like. The light and the good in it, the message to be had, you know? But always, like, you know, there's our destruct. What the heck? Who are you all the way out there? Oh, there's the girl. Our light, our shell girl, and then our monster, too. Interesting. Oh, wait, it wants me to go that way. This is the way it wants me to go. Um, I'm gonna give my burden to the light girl and then jump in the water. So I can go fast. Ah, so awesome. Ah, I love this. I love this story. It's so, so good. And the way it decides to express, like, the messages is very well put. And, like, you could understand these things, like, on a subconscious level. Like, just by playing, you could, like, kind of understand what's happening. Even though, like, maybe analytically, you don't pick up on them. But that's what makes a good story. Like, you can still pick up on the, on the stuff. Okay. A new setting. Where are we? Let me look up for a second. Looks like we're in a grove or something. Up. Oh. Hey, keep that, please, for a second. Dang it.
So what did that mean? She sacrificed Shelly to the monster to destroy the monster? Destroy that potter inside of herself? Was it that she was completely letting completely letting go of her shell? Like the representation of her shell to uh like get over her destructive tendencies or her negative thoughts? Is that what it is? Oh, I can swim faster by holding space. Oh, secret mechanic at the very end of the game. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Now well, everything's better. I mean, much brighter. I got out of the water. And now I'm climbing some more. More ascension symbolism. Or enlightenment symbolism. Oh, look. What is that? It's a little shelly. Did you find out who can truly help you? Yes. I know now. Okay. I made it. Okay, hang on. So, just to clarify, like, she found the resolution within herself and resolved it. Oh, is this the credits? Is this the end? I made it to the end! I thought it was 14 chapters! Oh, I'm so happy. It's such a good resolution. And the answer, you know, is within yourself, right? <laughs> so good. And in the end, her burdens became less her negative thoughts they became smaller and easier to manage to carry on your own and kind of like ex accepting yourself accepting huh. those negative parts of yourself and like weighing the burdens with huh. things that make you happy ultimately helped to fix her and it wasn't to lean on somebody else huh. The solution was inside all along. Oh, such a good story. Such a good uh, message. A lot of people need that. You can find your happiness and not be lonely as long as you love yourself and accept you for who you are. Oh, it's so great. And then she turned back into human. It's my favorite. My favorite part when they turn back into humans. And now we get the credits and it's a, a walk on the beach. I'm hoping my family's here. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be really good to get that final resolution. Guy Jack, uh, Jackson, your your music's great. Here's another uh, doc. She doesn't have to carry the backpack anymore. Just. <sighs> It feels so satisfying. Chapter 12, feeling good. Ah, oh, I think since we're so close, we're just gonna continue.
Are you ready? That's it. And then the the final credits. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a journey. That was amazing. That was really good. Um first of all, the art style was fantastic. The who, whoever was doing like level design and the artistry and everything, you guys did an amazing, an amazing job. It was such a unique looking game. It reminded me of Wind Waker, but in in so many ways, like it was more unique and like added so much more on top. Mm. And then the story. Okay, so like the blend between the environments and the story, the metaphors and the symbolisms, they were fantastic and like really well executed to the point where I believe like. A good symbol is something that can be interpreted internally and doesn't really have to be like like looked for like uh, really hard or like looked at like with a fine tooth comb or with a magnifying glass and gone over with a fine tooth comb to understand. This game did an excellent job of getting the emotions and the feelings of loneliness, dis depression, and desperation. They got them through in the environments and in the symbolisms that they used while at the same time explaining an extremely complex story and extremely complex relationships and they did it all through like very simple means it's excellent it's very good um and it really tackled some very difficult subjects that i'm sure that a lot of people can relate to or have dealt with in the past and that are some things, like some of the things in your life that are the hardest to deal with. I think the one thing that it hasn't, didn't cover, and that I'm sure there are other games that, are, that do cover this, is like dealing with like the death of a loved one. But in this situation, it's more of like the, the relationships between those you care about. And like in some cases, like trying to help the people that you care about and like what's the best decision and like a lot of people struggle with that be involved no don't be involved or uh, yeah it's a, it's such a like even for me it's hard for me to comment on this because these are things that i'm still learning as a person and like to react to these situations like defines you as a person you know and so like this game like shows k's progression and growth as a person in dealing with these difficult subjects and it does an amazing job of it and it's very personal to me because like it's still something that I'm doing and learning as I grow older and as I gain relationships and lose them and love people and fall out of love with people it's it's very personal and it's very uh, it, it's very universal to everybody I think if you have a chance to play this game for yourself and see what you feel in those moments and the thoughts that you have and your bias in the situations but ultimately the resolutions they all seem like very good directions to head for for yourself I don't know oh. <laughs> oh, it just makes me so happy it's a very good game about um, about loving yourself how to love others how to be a good person and how to deal with the difficult moments. I'm just gonna let the credits roll and uh, quit talking and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> have, a, um, have a good night. Yeah, all right, I'll see you guys later, bye.